This year, Annika Yi has transformed the turban hall into a new ecosystem. So once there were the big machines here, the turbines in the industrial age, now there are these sort of somewhat futuristic biological machines here. They're called aerobes, uh, xenojellies, the one with the tentacles, uh, planulae, the ones that look more like uh, blobs. And they move around the space guided by an artificial life system, so they are autonomous. They're not being controlled by people. Humans are neither master to them, nor are they slave to them. It's an encounter of uh, kinds. In the course of the pandemic, so all the things that happened over the past 18 months, many of the topics that Annika raises have taken on a whole new meaning. So questions like the politics of air, that we all breathe the same air together and what happens then, the fact that we are largely unaware to most life, bacterial life, fungal life, uh, that we carry it within us, that we're made up out of it, that nature communicates in ways that we find uh, Odd, I would have thought it's a bit woolly, um, and to combine all of that with state of the art technology. So the aerobes are guided by uh, scent. Their behavior depends on what the hole smells of um, on any particular day. But they're also guided by warmth, so where visitors go and how much they move around. So there's a correlation that people seem to congregate and then the aerobes congregate with them. But it's also worthwhile sometimes to try and spread out and see what happens then. Yeah. And then it's also 